Hi, I'm Ariella Falik, and here's a two-minute recap of Parashat Bo. Parashat Bo continues the story of the ten plagues. Hara has withstood each plague until now, following a predictable pattern. At times, seeming to weaken in his resolve to desperately call for Moshe and Haron and plead with them to put an end to the plague, only to go back to his old ways and refuse to free the slaves. But now, by Parashat Bo, we start to see evidence in the text that Paro's servants are seeing things differently. Paro's servants say to him, how much longer are you going to let this go on? And in the wake of the plague of the firstborn with Egypt consumed by mourning, Paro's resolve finally breaks. He calls Moshe and Haron before him and urges the people to leave and to leave fast. The Yisrael are safe and secure within, while chaos and confusion reign around them. And the Yisrael leave with unleavened dough in their hands and with their arms filled with jewelry and garments that were willingly, it seems, lent to them by their Egyptian neighbors. Bene Israel are commanded to make the anniversary of their leaving Egypt the first month of their year. They are commanded, Pidyon Haben, and to observe the anniversary of Yitziat Mitzrayim each year by removing all the hamets in their possession for seven days, by eating matzah and telling the story of their geulah to their children. They are also commanded to wear tefillin on their arms and their heads as a reminder of the exodus and their commitment to God. The idea of remembering is to remember, to attach ourselves to that memory. If we are remembering the exodus of Yitziat Mitzrayim, we are meant to be part of that story and find meaning in it to create personal and national identity. So, what does the exodus mean to you?